Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, um, this is actually kind of unexpected <laughs> because I actually wasn't planning on filming this video today, but I just realized that now is like the best time to film it because I'm like hella busy. And if I want to have this video up on time, then I shall film it now. So anyways, y'all aren't here for my life story, but um, we're doing some late night filming. So yeah, welcome. Today's video is going to be something a little, actually not even a little different. I've done this before. I always say that. But today I am going to be finally preparing for all of my new photo card collections for 2021, I guess. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen my collection goals video, first of all, I guess you guys should check it out for like for more info. But I actually am going to like prepare for all these collections because a lot of my binders are like a mess and they're unprepared for certain members that I want to collect. So yeah, I am going to do that all in this video, except for Twice as Chaeyoung because I actually already did that in its own video. So again, check that out if you want to see my Chaeyoung preparation and my collection so far. I've done her already, but this is just like combining all of the you know, remaining groups into one because obviously I'm not going to make individual videos for each one. It'll be like three minutes then. So yeah, I'm doing it all now. So yeah, I have all the things I need to prepare. I have like my templates here. I have like these thingies and like sleeves for when I'm like missing a photo card and stuff. I'm just going to like reorganize a bit and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So starting off, we have my second 17 binder. If you guys didn't watch my updated photo card collection, then I guess you didn't know then I have another 17 binder I did expand because you know I'm collecting two more members so I definitely needed a second binder so yes if you guys recall then you guys may know that I am collecting Chongan and Wanu also on top of the four members which whom I haven't finished their collections yet honestly I'm just missing their older photo cards though because um they're like way harder to get since they're like out of print and stuffs but I just decided to collect two more members anyways because I couldn't resist so yes this is my Chungan progress so far pretty good for only being the first month of the year I actually did finish his end notes set I just bought like an entire set of it so that's complete and then for Wanu um yeah I pretty much finished most of it too it, again it's just the older photo cards since they are a lot more difficult to get since they are out of print and more expensive so yeah that's like it for like all my 17 members that I'm collecting but anyways I am going to prepare for these two members now sure yeah just go ahead and open this binder and then I guess Wanu's first since he's here so I did not prepare for this enough so I'm gonna count how many pages that requires okay so it requires 10 nine pocket pages I'm just gonna format it exactly the way I did with these members obviously so yeah I'm gonna take out nine more pages it's a good thing I bought another pack of nine pocket pages because I go through these so quickly now and I have to keep buying them. I literally buy them by like the hundreds on Amazon. It's so annoying. I just hate buying binder supplies because it's just like, you know, you have to spend money on it. So annoying. I know my life is so hard, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Oh, I should leave another page for like his other cards that I have. So this is his Japanese photo card that I actually pulled. So I guess I'm just going to make another page for those as well. Alrighty. So now comes the part where I have to write down all of like the photo cards that I'm missing. Obviously, I don't have a lot of them on hand. So, you know, I have to write down most of them. So yeah, so basically what I do is I take these like blank card size pieces of cardstock that I bought, use a piece of like like a post-it note and then I write it and then I put it on here. So once I do have the card, I could just take it out, take this out and then just reuse it. So yeah, as you can tell, I didn't take them out for like <laughs> the other times that I was missing a card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that in a quick little time lapse just to save some time. All right, so I went ahead and I finally finished writing all of these down. I also did them for Chang'an as well, just to get it over with. And yeah, okay, so I know these are not the best and most aesthetic looking <laughs> space fillers. I know like y'all are probably going to be grilling me about how crusty these are <laughs> and how low effort they are. But you know what? They're just placeholders. I'm very 
lazy as you can tell but it's effective so anyways so first for the first two um albums that have photo cards which are boys b and love and letter they're all polaroids so i guess that like makes the page a lot more like satisfying but i am gonna do like the four pattern like this just give it its own page so like this and then i'll also take the time to like fill in these little like white sleeves i'm hoping i don't run out of white sleeves again this is like the bajillionth time i had to buy white sleeves because i just used so many and i recently redid my entire like binder i reorganized everything and this is what i have left so hopefully i don't run out of this video or else i'll have to buy even more so yeah but that's gonna go like that and then for going 17 it's gonna have its own row since i'm not putting the units here and then al1 oh wait no it's gonna be like hold up okay so going 17 like this and then um al1 is gonna go like this so like this six pattern and then for teenage i'm gonna Oh wait, how was I gonna do this again? Okay, so for Teenage, there are four cards and then for Director's Cut, there's three cards, you know, excluding the business card thingy. So what I was planning on doing was I was gonna go like one, two, three, four, and then I was gonna go like one, two, three for Director's Cut. But this looks weird, right? Like just having these two <laughs> empty, like why did I think this was a good idea? I thought I had a different idea for this. Why did I think this was a good idea? Like. Bitch, that is so weird. But this is also kind of weird too. I mean, it fills up the page nicely, but like, oh wait, no, I'm stupid. Oh my God, what am I doing? Okay, I was planning on going like this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and then, oh my, what the hell? Okay, just ignore what I was doing before. <laughs> okay, um, I clearly cannot film at nighttime because I lose my mind, so yeah. Anyways, glad I got it figured out at the end <laughs> before I did something a little cray cray. And then for the rest of the albums, like this is gonna be like pretty much normal, you know? So you make my day and you made my dawn. They have six cards. So I'm just gonna do this little formation and then an ode and then semicolon and hangare. So yeah, that's like the same as like the other one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Almost forgot that I had this card already. I think I pulled this card. Wow, that was from ages ago then. Wait, did I pull this card? I'm pretty sure I did. And I just never ended up trading it. So thank God I didn't trade it. <laughs> and then I have this, um, you made my Dawn photo card. I actually pulled this in my signed like promo album that I bought in like September or October, I think. So lucky me. And I know you guys might like not like the way I organize my other photo cards. So for like an ode and then for um, Hengare, I just like fill it up with just however I want to. I really like the cards like being together, like the same versions together since it's like, you know, the same like concept, I guess. And I know like the versions like kind of like separate and then it goes into hangare and then semicolon which isn't my favorite either but you know what semicolon only has two photo cards and yeah and hangare has eight so again the numbers clash but it's the best i can do oops what the heck happened here And then this last page is only here because I have this photo card. I pulled this from my Happy Ending album. Um, I'm not planning on collecting his like Japanese cards or like any of his like other photo cards. 
I mean, I guess this page will be like miscellaneous slash like special photo cards if I ever end up like buying any extra photo cards or I pull any of his like other photo cards or I just happen to get any. So yeah, meanwhile, I will just fill this page up with blanks. Okay, now we are moving on to Chang'an. So I'll go ahead and like take out all the pages I need. So I think it's 10 more pages. And then this last page will be just for his like, again, special photo cards like I did with Wanu. Again, not collecting anything, but I actually pulled this from my 24 hour album and it has Chang'an in it. So I just decided to keep this here. So this will live here for now, but yeah, I'm gonna take out the nine pocket pages. Okay, again, just like the same deal, I'm gonna do the same exact format as I did with my Wanu photo cards. So yeah. This is what I get for not paying attention. Okay, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Never mind. Okay, so I traded this a while ago, so I have this card already. And I actually have like this card and like these cards as well. I'm only missing the this one, the net, the second version. So looking for that still. Yeah, okay, anyways, obviously again, like I said, the semicolon cards are like so easy to find and get, so. I just bought Chang'an's already, so there they are. And I think on that note, we officially finished preparing for 17. Oh my god, that literally took like an hour. <laughs> oh my god, look at how <laughs> look at how thick this binder got so quick. But anyways, let's move on. Next up, we are going to be moving on to Stry Kids because I said I was going to focus on my Chisung collection this year. Um, I guess the main reason why I said it is because, well, Chisung is like my second bias, I guess. And also, I've been low-key like collecting some of his cards over my years of standing 17. I mean, 17. Stray Kids. <laughs> Sorry, but anyways, yeah, so you can see I have a pretty decent amount of his photo cards. I actually do have like quite almost all of his go live cards except for the limited version. And then I did buy his in life set on Mercari. So yeah, you can see this is my progress for not seriously collecting cheese hung. Like this is pretty good. Like, do you see this? Like pretty good. So obviously like I'm just missing his older photo cards, which sucks because those are going to be harder to get. Like. <laughs> mixtape and like i am who and then the imu cards are so hard to get too so <sighs> i remember when getting the miro cards was like pretty easy because it was still like you know like a new album so i should have bought them then what was i thinking but anyways i think i'm just gonna end up collecting all these cards anyways i mean these are gonna be a struggle i think but i guess i should just prepare for it since i have most of them so yeah there's not too many so yeah I think it takes up five pages. Like, I'm not gonna like put like any like space fillers or anything. I'm gonna do it like I organized my Hyunjin collection, which is just putting them in like era order altogether. I don't really care, so yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to, oh my God, this binder is getting, why didn't I get like one and a half inch binders? I'm so stupid. Like I'm not going to change my binders again. Like only if it's absolutely necessary, I'm going to change like to bigger binders. But you know what? This, 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 this will, this will be fine, right? Maybe I can just take out some bigger inclusions, but okay, I'm back. It didn't take that long because again, there wasn't that many. So <laughs> yeah, but anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. Next up, we're gonna do another quick little collection and that is gonna be Mr. Jeno here. So I don't know if I mentioned this in my collection video, I'm pretty sure I didn't because I forgot to, but I do wanna work on my Jeno collection because he's my dream bias and I've had like a mixed, like I guess debates between who my bias was between Jeno and Chemin and I decided to collect Jeno since he's like more of my bias. So I think it's, pretty possible like he's not too expensive and his cards are like moderately priced so I just thought I'd collect a dream member and I had a lot of Geno's cards anyway so yeah you can see and I actually did trade for his Kino reload card so and I, ac I actually traded for this and this too so wow not bad actually but yeah his resonance cards though oh my god they are so cute but they're probably gonna be a pain to get but it is possible so oh i don't have chaehyun's template but if you're wondering why i'm not preparing for chaehyun it's because he's not more of like a serious collection i guess he's just like if i can get his cards then i'll you know collect them but obviously now it's like way too late to collect chaehyun cards because oh my god he is like on another planet i'm already collecting mark which is a pain enough and expensive itself so i'm not gonna go through the pain of collecting chaehyun <laughs> if i just get his cards then i get them so i'm not gonna like actually prepare but i thought i'd do it for geno so yeah okay so here's my sad little geno collection so far it's just one page but i did put him here because this is like my dream section in my nct cards and then i'm gonna go ahead and do that thing again where i do these so i should have done these off camera before i started filming this like why didn't i do that okay anyways i'll be rb okay so um bad news um <laughs> i did not see this coming but i actually ended up running out of these like slot holder thingies it's because i used most of them on 17 so i ended up running out and i also don't have enough like white sleeves to use so i'm gonna use <laughs> clear ultra pro sleeves for the rest of like my space fillers for now this is just temporary obviously but i have so many ultra pro clear sleeves so i just decided to use these for now obviously once i like start like sorting i mean not sorting storing my photo cards and i like don't need these i'll go ahead and replace them but for now for the sake of this video i'm just gonna use clear ones so just you'll have to deal with this for now but anyways i did finish for geno Again, I should have done this before I started filming this video, so that's my fault. But anyways, oh yeah, we should start here. So yeah, I do have um, the first, We Young, and then... Oh yeah, and I'm also planning on splitting up Empathy and like Resonance because those are like, you know, like, I guess NCT as a whole units, I guess. So I'm, I want to put them all together like I did with Mark. And so Dream is going to have like its own like separate sections. So yeah, these will be out of the way for now. And then we move on to We Go Up, which I have neither of the cards for. So that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then for his Japanese cards, I decided to put them like right here for now since they don't have that many Japanese releases. I mean, they only have one, so yeah. And I have the selfie card on the way for trade, so yeah. Oh my god, this looks so weird. I mean, this looks kind of like futuristic though, like, oh, clear card filler. Okay, so that's it for dream cards. And then now we have um, like the other empathy and resonance cards. I do have this one. Let me just sleeve this real quick. I actually did end up buying like a thousand pack of Ultra Pro clear sleeves from eBay for like such a good price. Like if you guys saw my, um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you would have seen it. But oh my God, like, Literally, it was such a good deal on eBay, so I had to cop it. So now I have a thousand Ultra Pro sleeves. <laughs> so yeah, that's fun. But anyways, oh yeah, okay. So I was gonna go like this. So I'm gonna do Empathy right here and then Resonance Part 1, the album cards, and then the two Kino cards right here. So it like fills up the page nicely. And then this page will be part two. And then how was I gonna do this? Oh yeah, I have his departure ID card. I'm gonna go like this, this, and then this. Or like this, I guess, boom. All right, and with that, we finished for Geno. So yeah, this is what this looks like. Again, there's like a lot of blank spaces here, but you know, hopefully they'll have more comebacks <laughs> as Dream. So yeah, looking forward to that. And then this is what this looks like for Resonance. So yay, we finished for Geno finally, and now let's move on. Oh shit, I didn't even realize I was filming this. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Now we're moving on to the next group that I want to prepare for, which is ATs. This one's going to be super quick since they don't have like that many photo cards. And I pretty much have like a majority of these. I actually have this one on the way. I just did a trade for it, which I'm so excited about because for some reason, this card was hard to find on Mercari Japan. It was like the most expensive card out of all of the Fever cards, but someone traded with me. So now I have this card on the way. And this diary card, y'all, like, so annoying. Like, I don't really want to collect it, but at the same time, I kind of do. So I just left, like, a space for it. But that card is so annoying. Like, that's, I don't even consider it a photo card. It's just text, you know? Like, why? <laughs> why, KQ? <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I luckily was able to trade a majority of my cards for Mingi. So, yeah, I have a bunch of his cards here already. And most of it is already, like, in order, I guess. So from here because I don't have this baby card for the anniversary album. I think I pulled this, which was very lucky. So yeah, again, the baby photo card is like something that's not like super high priority, but whatever, you know? Oh, what the hell? Wait, I have this card. Why did I not cross it off? This is what I get for not updating my wish list often, but oh my god, that means the only cards I'm missing are like these two cards, which aren't like selfie cards or anything. Oh my god, yay! Oh my god, I don't even need this card. Oh my wow, okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay, well, that's a good thing. Like, it's better to have a card and not cross it off than to like cross it off and not have it. So, yay! Oh my god, that makes me so happy. I can't believe I have like all of his cards now, like basically, really. So, if anyone wants to trade, Hongjun for Mingi, I guess hit me up. <laughs> or like if you guys for the baby one, I think this is um Chongo, I believe, right? So yeah, if you guys want to trade it for Mingi, hit me up for that as well. But oh my gosh, besides that, I literally have all of his cards then. Oh my god, yay. Okay, so <laughs> I literally wrote the, wrote the most random names like sunglasses, sunnies, and nature, <laughs> since they don't have official names. <laughs> It's just a way for me to identify the cards, so yeah. So I do actually have all of these cards on the way. I did buy most of these cards from Mercari Japan back in like December, so it's been sitting in the warehouse for a while, but um, I'm just waiting on a couple of cards to arrive and then I'll be shipping them my way.
We'll put the remaining members on its own page right here. Okay, that's it for ATs. That was really quick. Oh yeah, and also I'm not collecting like any other like my music taste or like K-Town cards, but if I get them, I, I get them. Next up, we are moving on to Treasure. So yes, I decided to only collect two members instead of three. So I'm not collecting Haruto anymore. I'm only collecting Mashiho and Hyuntuk since they're like my top two biases. So yeah, and you guys may be like, where's, where's like the final, is it called the final step? Like the full album? Um, well, I didn't buy the album yet because, you know, they've had so many comebacks and I haven't really been working on my treasure collection. I haven't made too much progress, so I was like, I'm gonna chill for a bit and buy those albums later. So, yeah, I'll buy those eventually. But for now, I wanted to focus on these collections for the first three chapters. So, yeah, this is kind of like my progress so far. The thing with Treasure, though, is that they do so many, like, concept cards. And I'm not a huge fan of these concept cards. Like, I feel like it's not that necessary to collect them and I don't really like I'm not a huge fan of them I like the selfie cards a lot better so what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna collect like enough like concept cards to like fill up a row I guess with a selfie so that's my plan I don't want to collect like all of these concept cards it's like too much and I don't really want to anyway so yeah since treasure is not really like a high priority collecting group but yes, this is my very sad collection so far. So let's spruce it up a bit. All right, so I am back and I just finished writing everything for Hyunsuk here. And then we have Mashiho's here. I did run out of this color post-it note, so I have to use these. <laughs> So that's a little unsatisfying, but whatever, it's fine. It's just post-it notes, so yeah. So the way I am gonna organize it, so like I said, I am only collecting like one concept card technically to like finish the row if necessary. So yeah, I have like no Hyunsa cards, so <laughs> this will be kind of sad, but yeah. So luckily chapter one um, has only one K-Town card, so that fills up a row like by itself, so yeah, no concept cards needed, thank god. And I actually do have this K-Town For You card on the way. I have like some treasure cards on the way from K-Town, so... But anyways, so what I'm gonna do now is for chapter 2, so I'm gonna do a selfie card, a concept card in the middle, and then the other selfie card, and then this row is gonna be the three K-Town cards. So I do have one of his selfie cards that Carolyn traded me a while ago, so thanks Carolyn. And then I actually ended up trading for his other selfie card, the white version, recently, so hopefully that should come in the mail soon because his selfie cards are so cute. And yeah, and then we have the K-Town For You cards, so I forgot which K-Town For You set I bought, but I bought one set already, so I also am not prepared for his like for the new album even though it's already out like it's been out but i didn't prepare for it yet so yeah once i buy the albums that's when i'll like start preparing for it but hopefully <laughs> that'll probably be in like the next month so anyways i'll just leave this blank for now and then i'll just quickly do the same for mashiho Okay, that is it for <laughs> Treasure. Again, not that much progress, sadly, but whatever. It's it's a work in progress, so let's move on to the next thing. All right, now we are moving on to our final binder, which is the Girl Groups binder. But in here, there's gonna be a lot because I am collecting a lot of like my Girl Group biases now, so I need to do quite some preparation, so yeah, we have Red Velvet, and then Eyes 1, Itzy, and then Blackpink. So those are the last four groups that I need to prepare for. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do like these, you know, these thingies off camera just to get it over with. So yeah. All right, I finally, finally finished doing all of like these thingies. So I did it for all the girl groups that I'm collecting for. So Red Velvet, 
Eyes One, Blackpink, and Itzy. It took a really long time, but I finally finished it, so yeah. We can finally get to organizing, so starting off with Red Velvet, I'm missing quite a few of their cards, but that's what I get for not collecting them sooner. So yeah, this is the wish list. I did I forgot what these two cards were for me to cross them out, these three. I think it was like other inclusions, maybe, not photo cards. So yeah. I also decided to collect the Japanese photo cards. There's only two, and I saw on Mercari Japan that they were like pretty decently priced for Japanese photo cards. So I was like, you know what? Might as well. So I decided on that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and organize it. First of all, this is my very sad Red Velvet collection. This is just the only Yeris, Yetis that I have. And then I did do quite a few Red Velvet trades, so that's why there's some cards missing. So I guess we can adjust these first. Okay, so I forgot to like calculate like how many pages I needed, so I just did that. And luckily, Red Velvet doesn't have that many album photo cards. Like, they only did like one or two for most of their albums. I mean, for Finale, they went a little cray-cray, but thankfully, there's not too many, so I'm thankful for that but yeah let's just go ahead and get I actually did get her ice cream cake card like from a trade so that should be coming in soon and then we have the red photo card and then I don't even have all of Red Velvet's albums <laughs> because you know I decided to collect them like later and um slowly because obviously I didn't know that they were going to be out of print soon so even though like my local k-pop stores had um Red Velvet albums, like older albums, I was like, I should take my time. And then they all sold out and I was like, well, damn it. So hopefully I can get some of their older albums as well. But honestly, buying the photo card and the album separately on Mercari Japan isn't too expensive. Like it's pretty much like the same price as buying like a sealed album. So yeah, I forgot I didn't store this photo card yet. So needed to do that real quick. Just for like the sake of organization, I am starting um, Perfect Velvet on like another page and just, you know, putting this right here. It looks weird, but there's only two cards, so that's how I decided to do it. And then so I'm going to do, um, the I mean, Perfect Velvet and then Perfect Red Velvet and then Summer Magic since there's three cards. So that fills up the page pretty perfectly, honestly. So love that. And then we have um, RBB. I'm gonna do RBB and then day one and then day two. And then Finale will have its own page. I recently saw like, um, I think Cam's video and he had a full like Finale. Oh, I did not mean to put this here, oops. He had like a full Finale like page for Yeti and it looks so pretty. So I can't wait to hopefully one day get all of the Finale cards cause even though they all look pretty similar, like at least it makes it look like pretty because like it's like it's like her with pink hair. So and I think it's like the same selfie basically. It's just different poses. So love that. And then we have the last page dedicated to finale. I realized that you can also put like the photo cards like one, two, three, four, five. But for some reason, I like the cross better, for some reason. Like, I feel like it fills up the page, and I like how they're all together, I guess. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I mean, if you guys like the this method better, then go crazy, I guess. But I do like this way better, so... Why is the sleeve so much smaller? What? Oh, this is like an old Ultra Pro sleeve. I don't know where I got this from, so get rid of that. <laughs> okay, and then we have this page for the two Japanese cards. There we go for Red Velvet. So again, most of it is empty, but at least... Oh, I forgot to put a <laughs> white sleeve up here. But at least it's prepared, so yay. Okay, now let's move on to Eyes 1. Eyes 1 has so many cards now, like for Blue Eyes is where they went, started to get a little crazy. So I have so many of these. I have no Unbi cards stored right now because I never pulled an Unbi card in my life. So that's why all of these are like basically all of her cards. So yeah, I'm too, I don't want to take out any of these photo cards necessarily. 
these are here like perfectly so i'm just gonna put in new pages on top of this so yes if you guys have unbi cards and you guys want to trade for my eyes one cards please hit me up because i haven't been too successful with trading i've traded some cards but not too many as you can see not too much progress i have this card already i already traded it so yeah but the progress is very sad so <laughs> hopefully i'll be able to you know yeah but anyways <laughs> so as you can see on this wish list most of this stuff is like crossed out because i'm only going to focus on her selfie cards so you can see i'm not collecting like her ar cards or like cards that are like units or like not selfies so it, it's like less cards to worry about so so the way i'm gonna like arrange this is a bit strange but it does like end up fitting perfectly in the end so love that so this is what the first page looks like this solo card is just gonna be by itself and then we have four cards for hard eyes And then blue mice is where it starts to get a little tricky so what i decided to do was since these are like basically like the same outfit and i like those to be together like i'm just gonna do two 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 and then there's of course like an extra like selfie card right here which i want to also get i don't know if this is an ar card i'm pretty sure is it i forgot but there's an extra selfie card so i'm just gonna do like a five thing or like five yeah Okay, and then one Eric Diary and one Reeler. Since I did take out, like, I mean, even if I didn't take out the AR cards, it would be perfect because it's like, you know, it's like an entire page, but I'm not going to collect the AR, AR cards. So it's just going to be like a 2 2 2 for both the albums. So that's perfect. Okay, yay, we are finally done for eyes. One, again, I literally have zero cards in here because I never pulled Unbi, and even though I do have some from trades, I didn't store them yet, so yeah, if you guys wanna trade for Unbi, hit me up, please. And these are just the pre-order cards from One Reeler. And yeah, so now we are gonna move on to Itzy, which shouldn't take too long since Itzy doesn't have like that many cards anyways so yes this is the itsy template um luckily i did pull like all of her not shy stuff i'm not collecting the unit cards right now either and i did a bunch of trades for icy so thank you to everyone who traded for that and then i pulled this card so i literally just need four which you guys may be like that's not too difficult well first of all this one is a pre-order card and i didn't trade when i first got it so now this card is like kind of hard to get so since it's a pre-order benefit card technically and then the wannabe cards are a little more expensive than i thought they'd be so yeah hopefully i'll find trades for those but yeah oh my god i just realized this is like really perfect so i can do um the dala dala polaroid and then it's icy since there's five cards wannabe and then not shy oh my god wow that's literally perfect oh, bless you itsy for having such a perfect amount of cards and this card um i actually joined one of randy's like fan sign group orders to like you know get this extra car so that's what this is from i think this is from sub k i think so i'm just gonna put that here for now i'll eventually move it but that should be good so oh i didn't mean to hit that so aggressively but anyways now we move on to the final group which is black pink who again don't have that many photo cards so shouldn't take too long but i've been sitting here for like three hours now filming this video so my ass hurts so bad so yeah anyways that was tmi but yeah there's not that many jenny cards so thank god 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do square up because there's four cards and then kill this love which has four cards and then how you like that has four right here and then the album is five. So it literally fills up like two entire pages which is pretty nice and then I'll just put like her solo cards like here like on a separate page so yes. Okay for Jenny though like I definitely started kind of late even though they don't have that many albums like it's kind of hard to trade for Jenny cards. I do have a trade for this one so thank goodness and also buying her cards is a bit expensive too like the how you like that cards especially. I think it's because for how you like that they only had one card per album so that's what makes it like harder obviously to collect and oh my god of course it has to be my favorite cards like these cards are so pretty like i love her hair so yeah i saw a set on mercari japan for like 60 dollars and that's like kind of insane <laughs> that's like 15 dollars per card but at the same time i'm like considering it i'm like hmm should i because you know i can just sell my black paint cards but <sighs> I don't know. I prefer to trade, but obviously I need to like buy these cards at some point because I only bought one How You Like That album. So, you know, the math doesn't add up. So, yeah. Okay, so that's one page. And then the next two albums fill up an entire page perfectly. So, yay. Also, someone very kindly gifted me the last two V album photo cards that I needed, which was so sweet of them. So shout out to them. I love you so much for sending them to me, finishing my V album collection. So yeah, at least I have one album complete. <laughs> I'm almost done with score up though, so yay. Okay, and then I'll put the remaining uh, black pink cards that I have. Okay, wait, actually, I just realized that this is like the only Jenny photo card I had because like the other inclusions are like bigger inclusions like these, which don't fit. So obviously I'm not going to give it its own page. So I guess, wait, I could just put it here. Wait, the timeline fits then because didn't Je Jenny solo come out after Doo 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 Doo? So wait, that's literally perfect. Oh, I'm going to do this side. I like this picture. Oh my God. Wait, perfect. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I think of that before? Really? Dedicating an entire page just for one photo card. I'm so stupid. Wow, oh my god, this is so satisfying. Like, all of these pages are, like, filled. Oh my god, perfect. But, oh my god, yes, we are finally finished. Oh my god, my ass hurts like crazy. And I, oh my god, I can't believe we're done now. So yeah, that was this entire video of me just preparing for all my new collections for 2021. Again, I'm not like planning on finishing all these collections necessarily, just working on them as much as I can. But yeah, as you guys saw, like, you know, because I talked about it, my progress has been pretty good. So I'm super proud of myself for that. But right now I'm like taking a break from buying photo cards. But yeah, just head on to my um, trade and sale Instagram at 8 Shop. If you guys like, you know, want to trade, you know, help me with my collection, help you with your collection. So yeah, don't be shy. But anyways, yeah, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching this long ass video. This is probably going to be a long ass video. Can't wait to edit this. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.